Okay, hi. Let's take a look at crystallographic directions. Just, just the facts, just really quickly. <clears throat> so the process for determining crystallographic direction is first to appreciate you can translate the vector um, if necessary. I'm actually going to call that point zero. Translate <clears throat> if um, if it simplifies things. And you'll see some examples of that. So then once you've got that translated vector, translated means it's a shifted in space parallel <clears throat> to the original, then <clears throat> you determine projection onto the axes. We'll start with cubic, x, y, and z. That's projection. Next step is <clears throat> reduce to lowest integer values. And then finally, we enclose in square brackets plus do a little bit of housekeeping, uh, which means negative signs are moved above. And no commas. OK, so those are the steps. Let's take a look at some examples. Then our steps, we're going to go through projection, reduction, and then enclosure. enclosure. So how about um, you know, we start with a vector that originates here and travels down to there. <clears throat> so if we proceed systematically, we'll do projection onto the x, y, and z. We're going to do a reduction, if necessary, um, and then an enclosure. So the projection onto the x-axis, remember this is the x-axis, the projection of that is negative 1. It's 1 in the negative direction, negative 1. Why? There's no component in the y-axis. It's in the xz plane. Okay, well, This is y over here. And z has a, <clears throat> has a, neg uh, a value of negative 1, a projection of negative 1. Again, you could start with, if I wanted to, I could define the origin here, O prime. And then I could say, well, the point coordinates of this point, if that's the origin, are negative 1, comma, 0 comma negative 1. So you see that the point coordinates of the head of the, the vector that originates at the origin are the same as the projection. Reduction, in this case, there's no reduction necessary. These are already lowest integer values. So the enclosure with our housekeeping steps just becomes 1 bar, 0, 1 bar. OK? <clears throat> How about um, another example? perhaps one that originates here and then travels down to halfway along the, uh, the y-axis there. I'm just going to draw that one in in yellow, actually, so we don't confuse it with the other one that I drew. <clears throat> so again, we'll do uh, projection, reduction, and enclosure x, y, z. I encourage you to do it systematically. <clears throat> um, with this case here, we could start with defining a new origin over here, O double prime. So if that's the origin, the point coordinates of the head of the vector here are going to be um, 0 in the x, negative 1 half in the y, and negative 1 in the z. That's as, as well what the projection is. A projection onto the x-axis is 0, onto the y is negative 
1 half, and onto the z is negative 1. The reduction we're going to do here then is going to be to clear that fraction, so we'll multiply across by 2. We have got 0, negative 1, and negative 2, and the enclosure then becomes 0, 1 bar, 2 bar. And that's what that vector is. Last topic is families of directions. And families of directions are directions that um, have the same atoms in the same uh, positioning. And you know, for example, the face diagonals. If you picked a crystal structure, say FCC or BCC or simple cubic, and you do all the, the face diagonals, uh, they would all be in the same family of directions. And so <coughs> the way to describe um, a family of directions is the same as we had the same process, except we enclose it in angle brackets, uh, 0, 1, 1. And usually we move the 0 out to the left, <coughs> non-zero is increasing towards the right, and <coughs> uh, express it in the simplest way, and that is we wouldn't express this as the 0, 1, 1 family of directions. Rather, we just call it, uh, sorry, the 0, 1 bar 1 or something like that. We just drop the negative signs, and that includes all of those vectors, both positive and negative direction of each, and so on for all the faces. So this includes the specific um, 0, 1, 1 direction, 0, 1, 1 bar, 0, 1 bar, 1, 1, 0, 1, et cetera. Thank you.